Today in this video, I'm taking you guys along with me in screen prints and t-shirts for a clothing brand from start to finish. What's going on, everybody? My name is Bob from Aesthetic Imprints, and I run a custom apparel screen printing and embroidery company all out of my parents' basement. So the first step in this process is to go ahead and get our films printed. <laughs> Films printed as you can see it's just a simple two color design and then as you see we also got the neck tags now for this two screens I'm gonna be using a simple 156 mesh and then for the neck tags I'm gonna be going up to a 230 mesh so let's go ahead and get these bad boys burned <laughs> Register this multi color design and get it ready to be printed. registered let's go ahead and do a test print and make sure all the registration is spot on so let's do a test print what i'll do first is print the white under base and the white part of the design now i'm gonna do a print flash print And now I'm gonna throw on the purple. Let's hope it's in registration. There it is. As you can see, it looks good. It's almost in registration. If you get a close up. If you look here, the registration, I mean, the print is all good, but as you can see, the registration isn't spot on. The white under base is a little higher and the purple is a little lower. So we just need to get that right. And I'm just going to adjust it with the micro registrations and we should be good to go. All right, let's see. All right, now the screen shifted to the right. So we got to adjust it again. Move it back to the left, as you can see. I'm gonna mess around with this and try to get it registered and see you in the next shot. Now, instead of wasting so many shirts, I'm gonna use this. Let's see. Still looks off. Let me double check. All right, 
let's see. That looks. It's all right. I can still see the white underbase right here. I need to bring it down. So all I'm gonna do is just wipe this off. Bring it down just a bit. Side down. That's pretty spot on. I can still see the underbase a little bit. So I need to move it back up a little bit and to the left. I'm keeping it real with y'all, showing y'all the struggle. Let's see, let's see. It's gotta be it. Yup. Yup, yup. It still needs to move up a little bit, but I think if I switch to pulling the squeegee, that should fix that. So let's try that. Yep, that fixed that. I just did a bunch of test prints, and I'm gonna have to scratch this, turn the machines off, even though everything's heated up, because this press can't hold jack shit of registration. As you can see, I mean, it's it's good down here, but up here, the registration is off. You could still see, you could just barely see that white underbase poking through. Down here, you can't see the underbase, but I just need to figure this out work with this see what i could do if anything i might make a new screen with a little bit of a choke or a stroke to the purple and see if that helps but i can't i can't start with this like this i can't i'll get i'll update you all hey everybody after a bunch of trial and error i just came to the conclusion that i just had to make a new screen and it just so happened to be a new white screen in this case i had to just Think outside the box and get rid of the white underbase for the purple just because the registration was not going to work out which shouldn't be a big issue because we are pretty on a light colored t-shirt in this case it's the pink so all i'll have to do extra is do a print flash print for the purple and that's perfectly fine so you guys are going to see live exactly how i'm going to do this now to fix the problem I just printed my first hit of the white. I printed the purple first. Throw that under the flash. Let it flash for a bit. And come back for my second hit of white. And boom, we fixed that problem. And as you can see, this looks beautiful. We're at the correct temperature. This just came out the flash. I mean the conveyor dryer. As you can see, that looks perfect. We don't have that issue happening with the underbase poking through. The purple still looks spot on and it's a bright opaque color. And the white is also great. We do a little quick stretch test. There's no cracking happening. 
just double check to make sure that everything looks good. Let's begin full production. Check it out. I got all the shirts right here. They all came out clean with the two color screen print in the front. Um, what we're gonna do now is I got them all organized. XL, large, medium, small. You're probably wondering why. Well, we're gonna do custom neck tag. So let's go print that. Now what I'm gonna do is just line my seam to that guideline right there. And good thing about the shirt, it's a tear away tag. I just tear that off. Then I got My neck tag design and boom. It is, as you can see, the neck tags right there look fire. It's the company logo and then the website and all the details right there. It's all branded by yourself. You really can't go wrong with neck tags, whether you're a clothing brand or you're a business getting merch for your company. You really can't go wrong with neck tags because it just adds that extra premium look. And when, when you give this to your customer or someone you're giving it to or you're selling it to and they see this, it's just that premium look and the small details that matter because it's all branded by your own company, your own clothing brand, and yeah. folded and bagged up these look fire let's go take a closer look at them guys enjoyed this video and liked how these turned out as you guys saw i'm keeping it as real as it gets we had a rough start to this video where things didn't go as plainly as as plainly what what does that even mean things didn't go as planned as you saw the underbase kept poking through but then luckily for us we didn't really need the underbase we were able to get away with it since this is a lighter color shirt so we were able to get away with it just perfectly fine but as you see these turned out fire we did a two color screen print on the front we did a full retail package with custom neck labels and folding and bought poly bagging these bad boys up to give it that full retail finished look and honestly that retail package goes a long way it's the little details that matter the most anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up subscribe join the family join the grind if you want to build a brand go ahead and reach out to me at aesthetic imprints i love to work with you i love to build with you always remember no grind no glory and i'll see y'all in the next one peace Thank <laughs> you.